Locks or Mob Deep? Which group better? Matter of fact, let's let's clear it up right now. Do we want to go straight up who's nicer or who's greater? Because those are two different arguments. Two I, different I, arguments. Yeah, I think originally the uh, the conversation started from somebody. Damn, and I, I meant to look it up and I forgot. Mm. But somebody had had tweeted that uh, the locks were lyrically better than Mob Deep. Oh, let's get it. Okay. Um, and I think that's where the conversation started from. And even like even saying that, I was like. Let's let's not. It's not a wash. We could you can make the argument, but don't act like you know, like Prodigy wasn't what wasn't him. I think like that you know that's the new saying out there with the you know with the young kids or whatever. But yeah. you know what I mean? Like like Prodigy was that guy. Okay. Prodigy mm. was, was nine him. five Prodigy. Yeah. Nine five nine six. Yeah. Nine five nine six nine, four, nine seven. Shit. Nine three a little bit. Like you know what I mean, and then H- Havoc Havoc was was dope uh, in his own accord. Mm-hmm. Um, but the thing is that like everybody always looks at Jada Kiss, but there's also Styles Pete, right? And so that combination, that back and forth. Come on, don't leave out Sheik. You ain't gotta tell me to not leave out Sheik. I'm saying what people are looking at. You're the one to be leaving out Sheik. I don't do. do that to me. You didn't say so she I'm tried name. to paint the narrative early. <laughs> he, he didn't say she. I didn't. I didn't get to talk yet. Because people don't. People don't look. People don't look at chic like that. Chic is Apparently, nice, you don't either. I, no, because I, I'm. I'm talking about. Why'd you say SP in, in, in because, Kiss? Because because of what people uh, look at it at. I didn't know the locks or a duet. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Or a duo. <laughs> pardon me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, if we're talk, if we're talking about just from a lyrical standpoint. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's hard to argue against um, the lyrical dexterity of a Jada Kiss. Tough. And then you you add Styles P to that mm-hmm. and the way that they work, again, back and forth. Pause. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I mean? But it, the thing the thing about Prodigy to me is that his, his style was not like a traditional style. Right. You know what I mean? It wasn't. And uh, it was a, a little bit of an unorthodox style. So if you're looking for, you know, like just straight up bars, straight across across the table bars, Jada Kiss and Styles P is going to give it to you. But like this, there was just something special about, you know, about Prodigy to me that I'm like, ah, I can't having this argument. It's like I feel like I, like I'm being disrespectful to P and, and his 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 energy and his memory. You know what I mean? Like. It's hard. It, now, but as far as like who is the greater group, mm. is my deep hands down. Okay. Okay. Mace, I've spoken enough on this episode already, so nah, I'm gonna pass the um, ball. Sin is right. The 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 two an- the two questions you presented have clear answers. Like Mob Deep is the greater group, classic albums, more influence over a classic era. You know, um that's a clear answer, you know what I mean? But lyrically I mean, that's just as clear to me. Like, and I love Prodigy, bro. I love Prodigy, man. But Jada, Jada Styles and Chic, bro. Like, come on. Now, these is like, these are like your basic, like, you know how you got like your your, your scorers, you got your shooters, you right, got your, right. like, these were like the East Coast lyrical guys for a decade straight. You know what I'm saying? When, when, when people wanted to say, oh, Jay went pop or, or Nas is kicking knowledge or all the shit that you tried to denigrate other artists for. Same with Fab or Cam. Everybody agreed that Jada was, you know, was never deviated from that lyrical persona that how hard he went with the bars. It's not just the albums. It's the mixtape era. Mm. It's the the classic battles. I don't know if the locks have ever lost a battle. Yeah. And I don't know if Mob Deep ever won a battle. The fa- oh. uh, so... <laughs> 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 wow, bro. So I'm That's just crazy. saying, like, Whoa, on a lyrical. It, <laughs> Yo, wait a minute. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Listen, man. Wow. I'm just saying. That's <laughs> crazy. I'm just saying, man. Like, on a on a lyrical tip, man, this is not a debate that, for me, man. <laughs> I'm going to come clean. I don't think they deserve that. <laughs> That was not that, cool, man. bro. I'm not. I, nah, I think we gonna have to stop They didn't the show deserve right takeover. They didn't deserve hit them up. They didn't deserve a lot of shit, y'all. Damn it, man. <laughs> so I'm just saying, like, on a on on as an iconic group, if I have a top 
like Mob Deep is like a top three group ever in rap to me. You know what I mean? Nice. Like period, like outcast level, tribe level. You know what I'm saying? So like on a just the artistic level, the at their greatness, yeah, it's mob. But if we just talking bars, lyrical shit, it's it's the locks and it ain't even a debate. But man. but but I also want to just throw in here, like, you know, if if we're talking about because uh part of part of this conversation also stemmed from um, the Math Hoffa list that he put mm-hmm. out the groups. of the greatest Math, groups of I love all you. time. Terrible list. And he put lot. Was it number one or number two? I don't even remember. Bro. It was up. The there. list was so ridiculous. I didn't study it. <laughs> Math. I'm sorry, but list. that list Math. wasn't a good list. And, and I was just like, bro, I don't know how how old Math Hoffa is, but like, I, like I feel like the, this up, locks. Bro? But I feel like this locks narrative of them being overall in the elite tier of all time groups. Is a millennial thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a minute, wait a I minute. Feel, I feel like wow. I feel like there's an eight, like a, if you're of a certain age and That's under, crazy. and you were you were here for when the locks debuted, yeah. like 98, 99, 2000. You was there for the mixtapes and that whole era, all the freestyles and all that era. And if you if you started paying attention when Mob Deep was already kind of on the decline, because let's be real. Um, you know, after uh, murder music, murder music. You know, what I mean, the albums wasn't hitting like that. But that trio from uh, the infamous to Hell on Earth to Murder Music is one of the most elite three peats mm. in the history of rap, yeah. group or otherwise. You know what I mean? So I feel like there's a divide there where, like, if you're if you're putting up the Locks versus Mob Deep, like overall, you wasn't really there for the Mob Deep era and how how like filthy they were like you just weren't okay first and foremost mace get rid of this guy that that (laughs) that 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 mob deep bar right there i I know you i know you a Pac fan bro (laughs) but they ain't deserve that bro you know what I mean? Like, like I don't, I, you know. Rest I, in peace, P. Like, rest in peace, Pop. We miss y'all. Nah, and, and, if we get, if, yeah. and why do we fucking keep acting like he's somebody <laughs> that we need to fuck with? <laughs> get rid of this guy. What the fuck, bro? Yo, <laughs> that to one of our late uh, wow. tape Like, <laughs> nah. Y'all be hit me with one of those episodes, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Like, the nerve of you, bro. But, but if we're gonna do that, we definitely have to talk about how Jada got dragged through fucking Wait. South Philly. We gonna get wow. there. We're getting there. Say through Broad Street and back. Because wow. because the, the tweets were talking. By Beanie Siegel. The tweets. Let's were be real about it. Let's and, and you know what? You actually they got a little mad at me because I said I said Beans took that easily. Easily. And I stand by Since that. Since the rap snob. So. That's and and, 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 like a soul and you know man. what? At first, I was like, "We're gonna wait," but that was a beautiful alley, because I, I I gotta say it. And you know what? I'm taking the show into a place where, you know, there's gonna be some down votes. Oh man, it might be some dislikes <laughs> for what I'm about to say, but I feel like history has been overly kind to the locks. Mm. I also feel like internet culture has boosted up the locks. Mm. Because now, depending on what part of the internet or where your algorithm resides, these guys are all the way up here, right? Very I'm revered, saying. right? Very revered in certain circles. But it's like we we do this thing on the rap roundtable. We, we we talk about people's careers and we break it down by MVPs. Mm-hmm. We break it down by championships, right? Do we not? We do that, right, Zen? Yeah, absolutely. I don't know where the MVP or the championships are. For the locks. I've seen a couple lie, of second man. round exits in the playoffs. Ain't gonna lie, man. I've seen some strong seasons. <laughs> but Kiss don't got an MVP. SP don't got an MVP. She damn sure don't got an MVP. I don't even well, Walter's making faces over there. He doesn't I don't know. Walter. I, I'm I don't sorry. know if he agrees. Walter, I'm sorry. I don't know if he agrees. And it's like he might be pissing Walter. Top and top I know that this is a, a little salacious, and our engineer who can crush this show right now might disagree. <laughs> but the fact remains is these guys have benefited from perception. Mm. They've benefited from mixtapes. As sports fans, the Rap Round Table loves a good sports analogy. In my opinion, a mixtape is the preseason. Mm. Mm. The albums are the regular season, playoffs, and championships. 
Talk if about you're it. telling me that mixtapes dictate who you are as an artist, then there's no way you could tell me with a straight face that the locks are a better group than Mob Deep. There's no way. Now, are you saying lyrically are they nicer? Yeah. Yes. yes. Of course. Yeah. Take Sheik out the equation for a second. Styles and See, I knew you was gonna no, do it. Because what I'm saying, <laughs> no, no, hear me out. Hear me out. Right. Hear me out. SP and Kiss alone have created a, a, such a dichotomy of lyricism, yeah. back and forth bars, moments, mm -hmm. real moments. moments that we can look to. We that you, make it. you can't argue about lyricism. Yes, the the preseason, the mixtapes, the bars from all three of them. Even oh damn, Simmons built the drink. Damn. You know what I mean? Even even with J Hood on the D Block tapes, mm -hmm. the the D Block mixtapes, the Clue tapes, the freestyles on, on radio stations, it's all there, right? right. Sh sh shout out to my man Money Bag Yo. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, if we're talking about the annals of the quintessential time in New York rap history. It's the Mob Deep. It ain't the locks. When, when everyone goes back to the early 90s, the mid 90s, the late 90s, they talk about Mob Deep. Some of the most important songs in rap history come from Mob Deep. The mob. One of your favorite producers is on the Mob Deep tree. Mm -hmm. Alchemist. Facts. Facts. He's he's part of that family, bro. So it's like. One of some of the songs that you hear to this day, when mix show DJs put their shows together, if they don't have some of those quintessential Mob Deep records on there, it don't count, right? The battles with Tupac, the battles with Hove and whoever else, with they Nas. hit. They hit because they were who they were, mm -hmm. right? And as far as groups go, because you can't put groups and solos together. Mob Deep got some championships. Mob Deep got MVPs. The locks don't got either. So for me, they're the better group. They're the greater group. Mm -hmm. The bet is better individual talent on the locks. But yeah. as far as a team goes, it's almost like you got Kyrie and Braun on the locks, but the Bob Deep is Golden State. Right. Together mm -hmm. they're unstoppable. Mm -hmm. Apart it might be a little shaky. But when you bring them together, what you gonna do with them? Mm -hmm. Right. Give me, give me, give me the team that's winning the chips. Sorry, guys. Not sorry. Mob Deep is the better group. I mean, Are you me in the comments? <laughs> ones, I'm putting this storm. on fucking Twitter. Curse me out on there. Y'all locks fans are real loud. And also the fucking verses. The verses got a lot of shit confused. because they, they, they debated. They went with Dipset. Dipset's not a group. Dipset is a crew. <laughs> now, somebody was on Twitter saying, like, they really went. And I agree with them. Like, I really wish we, like, P was here so we could have, like, a true. Yes. The locks versus Mob Deep versus. That would be, like, fucking. Amazing. Was Jada Kiss getting Wu Tang out of here? Nah. No. Nah. nah. Shit. Anyway, I'm sorry, guys. And this, and this is why I'm mad that um that Dini's not here today because like he would he would have batted heavy for for, for Jada and the Locks yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, take take your vitamin C pills next time. <laughs> <laughs>